Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online Guide. Today we're going to take a look at the Hydra vs the Laser. I'm doing this video because apparently people want me to make a video on it so I guess I'll happily oblige. The main reason I'm kind of iffy about doing this kind of video is because isn't it already a fact that the Hydra is a better jet overall? The fact of it being a VTOL and actually being able to be bought in Warstock Cash and Carry, among other reasons, is why it's a no-brainer. But I guess I can see the interest of people wanting to see if there's advantages to the laser over the Hydra in any situation. Well, through my testing of both jets, I did indeed find some useful information, which I shall now share with you. And without further ado, here's the Laser vs the Hydra guide. Let me just give a quick rundown of the Hydra, then when I talk about the laser, I'll just explain both jets in each aspect just to make this a little easier. The Hydra, a jet that is capable of both aeroplane mode and VTOL mode. It has a very deadly and accurate machine gun with explosive rounds and comes with two fire missile launchers. Pretty simple stuff. Now let's talk about the contender. The laser. How you obtain one is kind of annoying since you can't actually buy one of these in Warstock Cash and Carry. To get one of these you have to call Lester and get the cops turn blind eye perk in effect. Then enter the military base via the many methods that are easy to figure out. Just drive to the main runway and there's lasers dotted around everywhere where you most expect them. They're pretty easy to find. Take off in a laser and there you have it, you've got yourself a laser. So already you can see the downside of the laser already. You have to spend $5,000 and go through the painful process of manually going to Fort Zancudo just to grab a laser and take off. Whereas with the Hydra, you can just call in one from Pegasus and they'll deliver it to any compatible helipad. Next, let's talk about the speed. I'm going to do a drag race whilst I talk over some important aspects of both jets. You'll see that the laser is much lighter than the Hydra. It's able to take off much quicker and easier and also seem to have a slightly higher top speed. It beats the Hydra by a few seconds in this simple drag race. It's by no means an accurate drag race between the two jets, but we can clearly see that the laser is a much faster jet at accelerating than the Hydra. Because the laser is a lighter jet than the Hydra, if you're wanting to gain altitude at the fastest rate without stalling, the laser can easily do that. If you try and vertically climb in a Hydra, you'll just eventually lose speed and stall out, whereas the laser can just climb up to the sky limit easily and quickly. So the laser is actually better than the Hydra in terms of acceleration and speed. Now let's talk about the weapons. They're pretty much the same on both jets. The rocket launchers work the same way, then they both fire out rockets that are completely useless. So on to the machine guns. Both jets shoot out explosive rounds which devastate anything that they hit. The machine guns on the laser have a pretty nice wide range compared to the Hydra but the Hydra fires at a faster rate and the fire is more focused into a line, making it a much more powerful machine gun against targets like insurgents which needs a lot of firepower to be destroyed. Avoiding missiles in both jets is possible, however the Hydra's rudders are much stronger than the ones in the laser, so depending on where and how far away a rocket is, a laser can avoid most missiles if fired at them. Speaking of which, the Hydra is a much more agile jet. You can fly in between buildings, go up upside down through barns do I don't know where I was going with that but anyway yeah the Hydra is a much more agile jet than the uh, laser the main advantage of the Hydra as stated earlier is the fact that it can go into VTOL mode or vertical takeoff and landing which means that the Hydra can land in places where the laser just can't go. And in my books, the ability to land anywhere you desire is definitely advantage. However, don't use the weapons whilst in VTOL mode, otherwise you're just gonna have a bad time. So I hope I covered every essential thing you should know about both jets. Obviously the Hydra is overall better than the laser, but at least the laser is faster in the Hydra in the case of horizontal speed and the ability to make speedy altitude gains. And I hope you enjoyed this video if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the Pyron Gaming channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!